Welcome to another vlog. Uh, term hasn't actually started yet. It doesn't start till next Thursday, but I've still got plenty of work to be getting on with, revision of course to do. My priority today will be the label or mock exam that's due in on Sunday. I've got two questions to do as I mentioned in the previous vlog, so I'm going to be focusing on that and finish off planning those two questions first and then I'll start writing them up. But yeah, welcome to a new vlog. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do subscribe. I've decided to take a break from what I was doing for labor law to have something for lunch. Currently I've managed to do a plan for both the problem question and the essay question that I've chose to do. And I'll be focusing on writing those up this afternoon. But like I said, I'm gonna pause to have something for lunch and just take a bit of a break. I've been able to get a first draft done for the problem question of the labor law mock exam which i'm pleased with i've had something for dinner as well heading back to my room because i need to charge up my devices and then this evening i'm probably going to work on the essay question that's due in as well <laughs> I've been focusing on the essay question that I selected for the label or mock exam that I need to do. It's a question focusing on Article 11 of the European Convention of Human Rights and trade union legislation, including the most recent 2016 Trade Union Act. Very interesting question. I'm in good progress on the first draft of it. I've not finished it quite yet. I'm going to finish that off tomorrow. Uh, but there's also I need to check up on the human rights law problem question that I've got to do. I need to check up on that tomorrow but for now I'm going to head off to bed. Today is now Friday which means it's been about a week since I returned to Cambridge after such a long time. My focus today as I said previously will be first of all to look at the human rights law problem question, check the over because that is due to be submitted today by 12 o'clock and then afterwards I need to finish off the essay question for the labor law mock exam focusing on trade union legislation and article 11 so i'm going to be focusing on those two things human rights law problem question submitted to my supervisor first draft for the essay question and problem question for the labor law mock exam done so i've made some really good progress already today which i am uh, happy with Right now, I'm having something for lunch and taking a break. And then this afternoon, one of the things I'll probably have to do is head to the shops. So I need to make a list of what I want to get from the shops. Shopping is taken care of. I've got two bags here. I'm going to unload uh, what I've purchased from the shops. And then afterwards, probably my focus this afternoon will be doing some revision for EU law and making some more notes. This afternoon, I made some notes for European Union law, looking at direct effect and the principle of supremacy in EU law, quite interesting topics. And I also submitted uh, my response to the mock exam that was set for labour law, so that's done and taken care of uh, a couple of days early, because it was due in on Sunday. So that, yep, that's done and taken care of, I'm happy with that. This evening, I'm probably going to do maybe some more note taking for EU law, but I might also do some editing uh, of the previous vlog. I need to edit that vlog and get that ready to be released um, on Monday. In the end, I focused on editing the vlog. I was able to get a little bit done, not a lot, but a little bit nonetheless. I'll probably have to continue with that over the weekend, make sure that's ready to upload. It's been a productive day, but it's also been a busy day and I'm getting a little bit tired now, so I'm probably going to head off to bed. I'll catch you in the morning. This time last week would have been my first full day back at Cambridge. I can't believe a week has already passed, but I, like I said in the previous vlog, I am so glad to be back. Today, I'll probably be focusing on two things. First of all, doing some more revision, note-taking, probably on European Union law, but also I need to continue on with editing the previous vlog and make sure that that's done as well. So I'm probably gonna focus on that. It's looking sunny outside at the moment. You might be able to see 
a little bit, the sun is out, so I might go outside and do some studying there. After having spent the morning continuing on with note taking for European Union law, focusing on the topic of remedies, I'm taking a break now to have something for lunch and then afterwards I'm going to focus on some video editing. I need to get that uh, vlog edited and ready to upload so I'm going to focus on that and try and get that done today. I've managed to get the vlog fully edited and uploaded. Obviously that will be on my channel by the time you see this vlog so make sure you go and check that out first. I've just been to the shops to get a few more things in that I forgot to get yesterday and a few extra things as well and now I'm probably going to have something for dinner and then get on with some more revision, probably for European Union law again. I got some more notes done for European Union law after I had something for dinner. I will be heading off to bed shortly, but I will have obviously work to do in the morning, especially preparing for supervisions that will be coming up and for the upcoming start of term as well. Welcome to a new day. It is now Sunday. I've just made myself a cup of tea, which is what I normally do on a morning. This morning I'm probably going to be focusing on some supervision preparation. For those who don't know, supervisions are like small group discussions, normally by three or four people. And in each supervision, you'll take a topic that's been discussed in the lectures and expand on it, discuss it in more detail, go through some questions that might have been set beforehand. So it's a really good opportunity to kind of explore ideas and cases and principles further. So I'm going to be focusing on some supervision preparation because I've got some supervisions coming up. But yeah, that'll be what I'll do this morning. So this morning, I've just been doing some supervision prep for equity. That supervision's coming up soon. And then I had something for brunch with one of my friends, uh, which was nice as well. For now, I'm going to continue on with some supervision work for equity. And then this afternoon, I might be doing something, um, something exciting. I was able to get a bit more work done for the equity supervision, looking at the cases and the literature for that supervision. I'm heading into town now uh, for a social event, would you believe it? This is for Kula, the Cambridge University Liberal Association. For those who have been with my channel for a while, you, I might mention them a few times with various events I've been to, in-person and virtual. This one's going to be an in-person event. Uh, first one I've been to in obviously quite a while, it's fair to say. Um, so it should be good and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, complying with all the rules and and obviously all the restrictions, but it should be good fun. The social event was really good fun. It started off with a few people acting out canvassing, so it was kind of like mock canvassing in a way, which was quite interesting to watch. And then afterwards, uh, we went to Jesus Green and we sat in groups of sixes, of course, and we had sort of things to eat, things to drink, but it was just also a really good opportunity to just catch up with people in person. It was really good fun. I wasn't sure about whether to go in the first place. I was a little bit nervous about heading out into town and obviously going to this in-person social because it obviously had been quite a while since I've been to an in-person social but I'm definitely glad that I went. It was really good fun. It was just great to catch up with some of my friends as well. Afterwards came back, had something for dinner and then this evening I've just been getting on with some bits and pieces, nothing too difficult or strenuous or just just a few bits and pieces. Probably going to be heading off to bed now and I'll see you in the morning. Today I've got a few things that I will be doing. So for example this afternoon I've got a meeting with my tutor. But before that and for at least this morning I will be focusing on European Union law, doing some revision, some note taking for that module, looking at the topic of freedom of goods, which is quite an intriguing topic. I also have my COVID test that I need to do this morning as well. So let's get going. I've just taken a break to have something for lunch this afternoon. I'm probably going to continue on with my revision of European Union law, looking at freedom of goods. Did quite a bit this morning, so I'm just going to continue with that on the afternoon. <laughs> This afternoon I was able to get the notes done that I wanted to get done for freedom of goods for European Union law. Afterwards I went to the shops to get a few things in 
and I've just been to a Zoom event put on by Kula. It was Wendy Chamberlain, the MP for North East Fife. Very interesting event. It was very good to listen to her and talk, hear about her experiences in Parliament and the things that she's been doing. So that was quite good. This evening, I will probably just be getting on with some more revision, maybe some supervision prep for the supers that I've got coming up soon. And yeah, I think that's what I'll be doing. So I was able to get some more work done, as well as deal with a couple of bits and pieces that needed to be done. I'll probably be heading off to bed now. I'm getting rather tired, so I'll catch you in the morning. I've got a meeting with my Director of Studies coming up uh, this morning. For those who don't know, your Director of Studies is responsible for the academic side of things. So in particular, they organise your supervisors that you're going to have for the academic year. So I'll be having a meeting with him, probably just to discuss how things are going, how I feel about the upcoming term, etc. And then probably what I'll do for the rest of the morning is focus on some more revision around European Union law. I might look at the topic of freedom of persons. The meeting with my director of studies went well. We mainly discussed the upcoming term and how I was feeling about exams, etc. And then afterwards I got on with some note-taking revision for European Union law. I've just had something for lunch and now for the rest of the afternoon I'll probably just be continuing on with revision for European Union law. This afternoon I got on with some more work for European Union law. I managed to do quite a bit which I'm pleased with. I also watched an online Cambridge Union event. It was Nadim Zahawi who is the vaccines minister. And that was quite good. And then afterwards I had something for dinner. And then there was an online in conversation event between former Home Secretary Jackie Smith and Jess Phillips, who is the Shadow Minister for Domestic Violence. And that was a really good event. And then afterwards I just got on with some bits and pieces. So it's been quite a good day, quite a busy and productive day. Tomorrow I've got uh, a supervision so I'm going to head off to bed now. Later on today, I've got a supervision for labour law. This will be continuing on with the topic of discrimination law and equal pay. We had a previous supervision on this topic uh, last term, and then this kind of part two in relation to that topic. So it should be quite an interesting supervision. That's later on today, around about 12 o'clock. So before that, I'm probably just going to get on with some supervision prep, make sure that I'm fully ready for that supervision. The supervision went well. It, like I said, it was focusing on discrimination law equal pay. So we went through a couple of the key cases, went through an essay question on empirical labour law as well, which was quite good. And that was the last substantive uh, supervision for labour law. There will be a revision supervision later on in the term. Right now I'm heading over to the shops to get a few things in and then I'll need to have something for lunch and then afterwards probably get on with some more work. After my trip to the shop and subsequent lunch I got on with some dissertation work. I was actually looking at a dissertation belonging to someone else. So there's a group of us taking the public law seminar paper so each of us are doing a dissertation for it and we've decided to swap with each other and peer review each other's dissertations. So I'm reviewing someone's and they're reviewing mine. So I was doing that this afternoon, looking at reading it over, looking at what feedback I could give, some points to think about, things that I might want to change, or at least, as I say, think about. And that was quite good. And then afterwards I had something for dinner, and then following on for that, I got on with some work, a little bit for European Union law, a little bit for human rights law as well. Probably going to end it here and bring this vlog to a close. Vlog 50, no less. Can't believe we're at vlog number 50 already. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to do all of the usual things if you haven't done it already. Like in the video, follow me on the social all, all the social media linked in the description below. Comment if you've got any questions or anything you want to ask, point out, etc. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. We need to get to a thousand subscribers. Let's let's get to it. And yeah, share the video, let other people know about it. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I hope to see you in the next one.